college with you. You've just grown so much throughout all these years, and it's great to be part of it. As you know and I know, I was raised in a Russian family. You are raised in an Italian family. There are some interesting things we faced in our lives. I have to tell a story because I think it's great. But when Josie and I were in grade school, Josie would get Nutella sandwiches while I would get leftover food of chicken legs. Maybe someday because I would get chicken legs and leftover whatever we had. While all the other kids would get peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with the crust cut off and nobody ever wanted to trade food with us. But do you blame them? Who would want to eat Nutella sandwiches? Yummy. <laughs> and also I have to say that going in a foreign household, our families kicked us out. People think they're yelling, but really they're just talking, conversing. They're having a good conversation, but they are loud and people understand it. But this is something that you and I have shared together going on. And it's it's just what it is. It's part of being, you know, part of the culture, being foreign. So that's just Now, a couple words about Marco. When I first met you, I thought you were awesome. I can't <laughs> say that. <laughs> Marco is a but you are absolutely awesome. awesome. I mean, seriously. I think, Dan and I were talking about this, and we were talking about this, and I think that you seriously have no thoughts. You don't. You're, I know Josie says you don't sure. but <laughs> I'm so glad I introduced you guys, and I'm so happy. <laughs> and Tony. <laughs> Marco and Josie, you guys compliment each other. You guys, I've been watching your relationship grow since day one. You love, respect, trust each other. You have a great relationship. You have so much fun. I wish you a lifetime of happiness. I am so happy to consider you both of your family. Marco, you're so happy and I wish a lifetime of friendship to both of us. So, actually, so congratulations, I love you, Drew.